Hi, and welcome to the Unashamedly Human podcast, a podcast created to help you get out of your head and into your life. That is, if you want to have more fun, freedom, happiness, peace of mind, and success whilst squeezing the juice out of every area of your life. Join Jackie Ford every Thursday and listen in to her warm Scottish tones, wise heart, and wonderful sense of humour as she interviews guests and discusses what it means to be unashamedly human. Hi everyone and welcome to the Unashamedly Human podcast. Hey, it's been a minute since I actually did a recording for you, sat and um, shared my thoughts about what's going on in my life, what's happening with my clients, what I'm up to in business, what I'm up to in life. Um, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? So much so that several of my clients have said, have I missed one of your podcasts, Jackie? <laughs> really sorry no I just haven't been creating them I have been I've been busy I've been busy in life enjoying my family enjoying my husband enjoying my granddaughter um, and enjoying really what feels like the end of a period of reflection and change for me um I've been busy working on the Unashamedly Human School, which is something that's really dear to my heart and something that I've been working on for quite a while. It's important. It's important for people to know that they are, they're well, they're not broken and they don't need fixed. And when we look at traditional psychology and psychiatry and counselling um, that's out there at the moment, Many of these modalities point to the patient being mentally unwell. And today I thought I really want to talk about something called psychological innocence. This is a, a module that I'm creating within Unashamedly Human School that I'm sharing with, with the, the participants at the moment. Um, and I thought it'd be really, really interesting to share it with you too. Well, part of it, obviously not all of it. Um, and to share one or two stories that I've seen in my own life that exemplify what psychological innocence is. So first of all, what do I mean by psychological innocence? What I mean by that is that each and all of us are doing the best that we can given our level of consciousness, given our level of awareness in the moment. That means that if you're struggling, and your mind is busy, and you respond or react to someone in a certain way, that's the best you can do in that moment. If you could have done better, you would have done better, but you didn't. And what happens is an awful lot of us judge that experience as, I'm not good enough, I know these principles, I should be doing better all the time. Um, you know, we don't like, the behavior that we're that, that, that comes from us or comes from other people. I mean, I was speaking with one of my clients this week. We were talking about how we're not always in the most perfect state of mind, the most perfect state of being. We are human beings. We are both psychological, spiritual, physiological meat sacks. <laughs> We, we, we are just, we're human for God's sake. Everything, everything is an opportunity to learn. Everything is an opportunity to get curious about. Everything is there to help us evolve in our level of awareness, our level of consciousness, to help us be able to see more, to see through our behaviours, to see through the ego, to see through the choices that we're making. I mean, I tell a story often about one day I was down in our local post office and there was this gorgeous little soul and she was an old lady and it was obvious that she was enjoying the company and the conversation in the post office. And that day I just thought, isn't that beautiful? Everybody's responding to her, reacting to her in a very loving, kind, patient and tolerant way. And it didn't bother me that I had to wait quite a while before I was served. 
couple of weeks later, I was back down in the post office, but I had to head up to Glasgow to see my daughters. So I was in a wee bit of a rush. And I got into the post office, same post office, same me, and there was the same wee old lady doing what she did the last time, talking away, getting company, having conversation. And the thought that popped up into my mind in that moment was, hurry up, bitch. Wow. Same post office, same lady, same me, different day. And I had a completely different reaction. I felt that reaction within my body. I felt the tension. And whenever I feel tension, it's an invitation for me to relax, to breathe. And what I saw in that moment as I got distance from my experience was, I was in a hurry. And therefore, that's the thought that was pervasive within my head. I'm in a hurry, I need to get away, what's going on? This isn't good enough, This I wish this woman would hurry up and shut up and just so that I can go on with my day. I was not in a state of love, <laughs> as you can rightly see. I was in a completely different state of mind than I was a couple of weeks previously when everything else was the same except my state of mind. To me, that's psychological innocence. To me, it's psychological innocence when somebody is fearful and is shouting and screaming. It's psychological innocence when someone does something bad. They're doing the best they can in that moment. In the main, there are some people that are just bloody minded and, and caught up in their own thinking and bless them. So when you're coming from the perspective of psychological innocence and that each and all of us work in exactly the same way we experience life through the gifts of mind, thought and consciousness, we create our experience through the gifts of mind, thought and consciousness, always from the inside out, yet sometimes we think it's from the outside in. Interestingly, this week, I was with my, my, my daughter and my son-in-law and my granddaughter and my husband. And Ailey, my granddaughter, bless her, she's only, she's coming up for 18 months. She is fascinated with animals, just absolutely fascinated. And if she sees a bird in the sky or a bird in the garden, or she sees a rabbit or a pheasant, or she sees, you know, any dogs, she just makes this huge noise. It's like, oh, oh, and she gets so excited and she points at the animal and she just thinks this is absolutely monumental. <laughs> she is just so full of joy. And we were sitting in the kitchen. And a fly came along and it sat on the radiator. So it's a white radiator with a black fly. And Ailey saw the fly. And she started making these noises again and pointing. <gasps> oh, oh, she said. And we all looked to see what it was. And it was a fly. And she watched the fly diligently. And when it moved and flew away from the radiator, she followed it as much as she could around the room until it landed on a cream chair, a cream coloured chair. And again, she made those noises. Her eyes lit up. She was absolutely fascinated. She held out her hand, wanting the fly to come and land on her hand. And then when the fly didn't come and land on her hand, she cocked her head to the side and she started waving her hand and saying, hiya, hiya, hiya. Watching her in this moment of joy, this moment of curiosity, this moment of psychological innocence was absolutely beautiful and it just filled my heart. Ailey doesn't have any preconditioned ideas of what a fly is. 
She has no preconditioned ideas of a fly is dirty, a fly is messy, a fly is annoying. None of that. To her, there was this little being that was just like her and it was flying about and it was just so interesting, incredibly interesting. How beautiful to be able to see life with such psychological innocence that there are no preconceived ideas or judgments or opinions or thoughts about your own thoughts, about your own circumstances, about your own feelings. Everything just is. It's a place of not knowing. It's a place of curiosity. It's a place of of just enjoying the present moment, enjoying everything that's coming to you in the now. And the now is this wonderful moment that you're experiencing. And thoughts are probably part of what you're experiencing, but, but thoughts and feelings that arrive from thoughts are really only part of now. Much more is going on in your real life. The experience of the moment feels more real and is more real than thought, which is simply thinking about your experience. And thoughts about something lack that juiciness and aliveness of pure experience. Thoughts create a virtual reality and they take us out of reality. So think about that in the context of Ailey and the fly. The experience of the moment to her was much more real. She didn't have thoughts about the fly, so she had all this gorgeous juiciness and aliveness of her pure experience in the moment. That's beautiful. I invite you to be more in the moment, to enjoy the juiciness and the aliveness of of pure experience, pure presence. Enjoy these moments of psychological innocence. See yourself with compassion. Notice noticing, thoughts arising and thoughts leaving. Notice noticing when you get caught up in thought. And notice that all that's happening in that moment It's you're paying attention and trying to hold on to something that doesn't want to be held or held on to. The Unashamedly Human School is a wonderful opportunity to revisit your psychology, your physiology and your humanity. To see life in the context of joy happiness, aliveness, the juiciness of life, to let go of habits, addictions, stories, anything that's holding you back in life, anything that is causing you pain. Now, this could be in your life and it could also be in your business too. I'm inviting you to sign up to find out more about the Unashamedly Human School over the next few weeks, I'll be releasing snippets and information, exclusive discounts and opportunities for you to live the life that you really wanna live and to stop doing what you've always done and learn something new. I'm looking forward to seeing you within the school. Speak to you soon. All my love, Jackie.
有一刻